What's up, everybody? Welcome back to What They Don't Tell You on Podcast One. I am back in Los Angeles. I was in Michigan. Check out that last episode with my mom. It was so funny, and Steve made a little clip. I actually want to insert that clip in this podcast, so cue that. I don't need to live in a mansion. You know that. Oh, I do. This is, this is our Rainbow! Plot. There's a rainbow because no, it rains. spit. Okay. What? Oh. <laughs> Oh my God, don't this lie. Like, yeah, like, if you're like trying to surprise, surprise somebody, someone, yes, you know, whatever, exactly. but yeah, don't, wait, where's Dusty? What's one thing they don't tell you about being a mom? It never goes away. What do you think about my soap clothes? If you got it, flaunt it, but be classy about it. I, I want to talk about to you when you think you're going to take a tolerance break. Ew! What the f- there's something big in here. Rap yeah, cool, and... but the money come my eye too. Because there's a big difference between you and my side, side dude. dude. He be all up in between them thighs. He's, you get my t- in your face, he's, he's getting, getting side, side boob. boob. That was so funny. My mom and I were dying laughing when he sent that to us. But go watch that episode. Super fun. And today, I'm like throwing it back in my life. I'm like going back in time to my favorite TV show, Probably one of my favorite guests I've had on this show. Welcome, Bradley Stephen Perry. Hi. Hey. Wait, so your mom was on this show? Yes. She spent, she's actually like a reoccurring favorite. That's so, fun. So you have a lot to live up to today. Yeah, I had to go after your mom. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so we have a lot to talk about. I mean, the first thing is obvious. You basically grew up on Disney Channel. Mm. What was that like? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> what, you, what was my life like? Yeah, what was your life uh, like as growing up, working yeah. all day long. Yeah, it was great. No, I, I had a I had a great childhood, really. Mm-hmm. Um, I got lucky. The show I started on, Good Luck Charlie, was, was really easy going and great mm-hmm. people, and we had fun, and it was a funny show, which yeah. makes things a lot easier. Mm-hmm. Um, you love going to work every day. I mean, we did 100 episodes, so... We got to spend a hundred weeks with those people. Yeah, it was fun. We did a movie too, so um, it, yeah, it was it was interesting working from like ten to eighteen. Yeah, like every single day. And on the show, it was good luck, Charlie. For anyone that doesn't know, um, basically they do video diaries for Charlie. So yeah, I like want first you, right? Yeah. Literally, that's crazy. We'll get there. Oh my gosh! But I want you. To give a little bit of dating advice to Charlie as if you were giving her some dating good advice. Luck, Charlie. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it's weird, too, though. You know what's so funny is I follow the girl who played Charlie on Instagram. She's 13 now. Yeah. So she's probably coming Mia, into right? It. Yeah, Mia. Mia Tallarico. Shout out to you. Yeah. I've always loved her name. So that's yeah, it's, like a, it's an actor name for right? sure. Right? So yeah, you oh, still dating. follow her. That's so No, but it was, it's weird because like, I'll, I'll see her photos and it's like, that's like a, a full grown person. I know, and thirteen year olds nowadays don't. Or like, even yeah, look. that's not what I looked like at thirteen years old. No, when no. I was thirteen years old, I was on the show, <laughs> and that's what I looked like. No, yeah. she was uh, when we first started. She was six months old. <sighs> now she's thirteen. That goes to show how old that show is. But wow. Oh, uh, dating advice. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like I just started figuring it out. Aww. Yeah, it's, it's not, I, I feel like it you could takes say time, you could say something. Maybe it's just that. Like it just takes time. Yeah, it takes to time, right? Look into the camera. Give a little good luck, Charlie. Yeah, right, right into the camera. Um, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck dating. <laughs> so taking your time, and you're in a relationship now. Right? Oh yeah, I have a girlfriend. Yeah. So what? Basically, what have you learned in that relationship? I guess because I feel like when you're when you're doing TV shows or filming, I feel like you low key have to keep things low key, yeah. or even private, or literally you can't even have a relationship. So now that you're like older or whatever, yeah. you're able to kind of have that. What's I guess different, and what have you learned from that? Well, you know, my my, my girlfriend doesn't work in film, mm. and so I think that helps. Uh, yeah, I really didn't date many people who worked in film because there's something really nice about going home at the end of the day and not talking about the thing you do all day. You know, because um, sometimes you want to have someone that will relate, and sometimes yeah, it's, it's fun to different. just like have that conversation and and listen, and then you know hear about their job, uh-huh. um, and kind of have that back and forth. Because I think especially in entertainment, it's a very niche thing, and you you kind of we're surrounded by it all day, mm-hmm. regardless of what you work in. I mean, we do totally different things, but there's a common bond. Yeah. Um, and so, like for for her, we met at college, so mm. it's there, that was the only thing we had in common. You know, wow. and then it's like a former relationship. Uh, so I think like just having that like 
knowing that at the end of the day when I'm done with film and TV and all that and just having my normal relationship, you That's, know. That seems that. nice. I guess, like, when you put it like that, because, like I said, I – I dated, like, one one time I dated, like, a guy who was just in, like, high school and, like, a football player, mm-hmm. which was, like, really cool for sure. But now I just feel like I have – for me, I feel like I have to have someone that kind of has, like, a free schedule or yeah. kind of, like, does social, social stuff, media, yeah. I guess, for a living so that you can That's who you're of, surrounded by, too, though, Yeah, you know. And, like, that's what it was for me growing up. That's why the girls that I did date that were in film as well. I was really yeah. on a TV show. But once I was at college, it was kind of like, oh, what? Well, you can just date anybody you want, you know? It doesn't have to be specifically to what you do. And I, like I said, I think there's something really nice to go home at the end of the day and kind of share your life. It also makes your life seem way more interesting working in film and you tell, like, the like littlest bit of information. Yeah. is like, that's so cool. And you're like, nope, yeah. literally nothing's going to come of this. But, wow. you know, like you get an audition and she's like, that's amazing. It's like, no, about 150 other people are doing the same thing and I'm probably not going to get it. So, you know, it's like it, it makes it a little more exciting. Yeah, I bet. I mean, like, you were on multiple shows or, like, movies or whatever, and you were also on Mighty Med, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have a fun game for you to play. It's I didn't like know people knew the name of that show. Superheroes, okay? Okay. <laughs> and, or just, like, it's a fun game. We're doing it for TikTok. So I'm basically going to be doing trivia questions on how well you know superheroes. Jeez. Oh, and all of that. Okay. I don't, I was reading through these. I don't know anything. I've literally only seen Spider-Man and maybe Endgame. Like, I'm not – sorry, I'm not, yeah. you know, Mighty Mare. No, it's not, fine. I was a good luck, Charlie girl. <laughs> um, hot girls watch good luck, Charlie. I think that was, like, <laughs> the majority of humans yeah. felt that way, too. My mom is the biggest Lee Allen Baker fan, let me really? tell you. We were at Ronald McDonald, like, event four or five years ago, and mm. my mom cried when she met Lee <laughs> Allen Baker. And I think that they still, like, keep in contact awesome. low-key. Like, it's so yeah. cute. Okay. What superhero is known as the Man of Steel? Oh, it's Superman. Okay. See, I just didn't even know that. What is Superman's weakness? Kryptonite. Yes. What color of kryptonite is not harmful to Superman? What color of kry- Oh, green is, right? So, or is green not? Is green good? Green is, yes, green is. Green is kryptonite, Green right? is. Green's so bad. what's not harmful? Not harmful? Isn't it like black or something like that? Or did I just totally make that no. up? No. I totally is it not even close? Uh, or is it the exact opposite with white? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who would you call if you were being attacked by Mr. Freeze? Oh, uh Mr. Freeze is um Batman, right? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Which superhero has the magic lasso and bulletproof bracelets? The magic lasso. Like, I would have no idea. <laughs> the magic lasso? I don't know. Bulletproof I, bracelet. Bracelet? Seems like a bad superhero is what that seems like. <laughs> so you just don't shoot him in the wrist? Is that, like, you kill him if you don't shoot him <laughs> in the know. wrist? Who aims for the wrist? Well, that's what I'm saying. Is It's like kind of like his Achilles heel. Like, just stab him in the heel, you know? But like. So you have no idea? No idea. Wonder Woman. Oh. Yeah. In X Men, what superhero can manipulate and resist the weather? Oh, um, damn it. <laughs> can I get a hint? Do you have a hint? Sure. It actually is kind of in the question. There's a hint. With weather? Yeah. <laughs> He's not the weatherman, is he? No, but, <laughs> but it's what kind? Okay, there's a lot of different types of weather. And one of these types uh, of weather yeah. is the name of the person. <laughs> <laughs> Rain Man. <laughs> no, Storm. Uh, oh, Storm. What supervillain is also Batman's love interest? Oh, um, it was you said villain? Love interest. Oh, Poison Ivy, right? No, what supervillain is also Batman's love interest? Not Poison, Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy was a villain. Come on, you know this Cat, one. Not Catwoman. Yes. But Catwoman, they were signed. That's not, not to get so nerdy, but Talia <laughs> al Ghul, right? That's uh, Ra's al Ghul's daughter. I love Batman. That's you know, like that's my favorite movie. Oh. The Dark Knight's my favorite I've movie. never seen Batman. Sorry You've never seen The it. Dark Knight? No. That's like I've the literally greatest only movie seen ever. like Endgame. Oh, it's not, you can't even qualify no, I Dark can't. Knight as like, ba- like okay. superhero, you know? Okay, okay. It's like a good movie. <laughs> you what, watch that. what superhero gets their power from a ring? Oh, um, it's in the Green Lantern? Yes. Right? 
In X-Men, what does the Beast do besides fight bad guys? I have no idea. A medical doctor. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What actor was the first to play Harley Quinn? Was the first to play Harley Quinn? You got this. I, I know Robbie, this. Margot Robbie, right? Yes. Yeah. What is Deadpool's real name? No, I have no idea. Oh, it's I It's played know by this Ryan one. Reynolds, but yes. I don't know. Yes. Wade Wilson. Wade Wilson. Okay. Which island does Wonder Woman come from? No idea. I feel Paradise. like I'm taking the SATs right now. It's the longest question <laughs> I've know. ever seen in my There's life. There's only a couple more. Okay. Um, what superhero has the f- catchphrase, it's clobbering time? Hulk? Seems like something he would say. The thing. Oh, the thing. Let's do one more. Okay. Last question. Who was Aquaman's sidekick? <laughs> <laughs> did I, I didn't even know people actually read that comic. Did anybody see the movie? Didn't that movie do terrible? It actually performed well at the box office. Did it really? Yeah, I think uh, so. I mean, I anything Marvel does, right? It was this DC. Is Marvel. <laughs> I knew right when I said it, I was like... Yeah, but you're not wrong. DC movies usually do bad. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's Marvel but Marvel does generally good. does better. Yeah. Got it, got mm-hmm. it. Or I would have said like Mermaid oh. Man and Barnacle Boy. Aqualad. 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 That is so lazy. Like, that's unbelievable. That's the best they could come up with. Yeah. Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. Well, that's all for that's all for the quiz. And before we get into fan questions and everything, we're gonna wrap this little podcast up for Tuesday. So stick around on Thursday just for the fan questions. And thank you, Bradley, for yeah. coming on to this episode. See you guys on Thursday with part two with Bradley.